I think my guiding philosophy is to try to treat clients the way that I would want to be treated if I were in their shoes. I think in family law, a lot of times we see people at a very vulnerable, turbulent time in their lives, and interacting with the legal system can be daunting. So I really try to treat clients with compassion and give information because I think it can be a confusing, overwhelming time as well. To some degree, there's a hardening that can happen for people within the court system or people who are uh, interacting with people who have family law matters uh, just due to the volume of the cases and the recurrence of certain issues. So I think it's really important to remember that every client is an individual and that these decisions are deeply important and matter in the day-to-day -day lives of families. And so I really try to advocate for and communicate with my clients with that in mind. One formative experience for me was working as a guardian ad litem, which is something that I did after law school. So a guardian ad litem advocates for the best interests of children uh, in child protection cases. And that experience was eye-opening for me, seeing the constraints that the system is operating under and the limitations of certain actors in the system. And it highlighted to me how important it is to be a diligent, passionate advocate because those decisions really matter.